Hey everybody, Akiris here. Welcome back to Kona. This will be episode number four of the day one episode. And uh, so we have found Lachance's place. We cracked the safe. We found out that he was trying to blackmail Hamilton. Probably not a good idea. And uh, we just saved it here in the general store. We can save here for free without using any woods. So I want to be doing that from now on, I think, until I find another place that has perpetual warmth. Or so it seems. So let's head on back and explore a couple of these uh, other houses here. Maybe we should just go to the mansion. Maybe there's some. Maybe they're gonna actually put us on some task-oriented stuff. Um, I don't know. Let me take a look. Where's the mansion at? The mansion looks like it m might be way up at the top of the hill. But how do we get across there? We're gonna have to go back roads, I think. How do we go back rows? We're going to need... I'm pretty sure you get a snowmobile in this game. But I'm not sure where it's at. So, let, let's just head on down. Let's stick with the plan. Let's head on down and check out these other two... Uh, it's going to let me go. Can I get through? Looks like I can. Come on. Come on. This is how glitches happen right here. That's how you. That's how your game gets glitched. <laughs> Doing stupid stuff like that. So yeah, let's just go the safe way here. All right. Where is there? Let's keep our eyes open. I think there was a mailbox on the right somewhere. Up here, really close to the chances place. So here's the chances property. There's a mailbox between here and the other part of his driveway, I think. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So let's head. Oh, whoa. Missed my turn. Okay. Whose house is this? Check the area, see, see what we got here. Some sort of a big, big garage over here, actually. Hmm. This is interesting. Plunger. Huh, <gasps> jerry can? Let me take it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I needed right there. All right, this episode is already a success. I think I would take that, oh, take the hammer. Yeah. I can brain somebody with it. Oh, and the... Oh, there we go. I can't take it, but I can use it. What is that? Some more nails? What am I going to do with all these nails and stuff? It makes me think that I'm going to be crafting a lot of things. A true Catholic always strives to keep lowly temptations at bay. Obviously, but Carl thought, someone in this house wasn't doing a good job at upholding the Holy Bible's teachings. How do you know that they're Catholic? That's my question. Is there... Did I miss something? Indeed. Too small to fit in a door lock. What mm. sort of miniature object was it meant for? I'm thinking maybe for the, uh... Yeah, I'm thinking maybe for the, uh... Post office boxes. You know what I mean? Can we get in here? Those look like cabinets. No? Okay. Well, I had to try. I had to try. Oh. Grab that. Empty empty bottle? It looks like an empty bottle. Gotta take the toilet paper man. That would be survival situation. Taking the toilet paper man. Alright, let's see whose house this is. What is that area? That's an interesting area back there. Hmm. Oh, under the <laughs> under the mat. For okay. Sake, yet another key hidden under a doormat. Nowadays, Carl found his job didn't present him with much of a challenge. Well, to be fair, the house. I'm guessing they don't have much crime out here. The kind that reminds you of the good Lord of peace, as opposed to the good Lord of violence. Okay. Enough food for rough times. Okay. Yes. It was sort of obvious. 
Okay, what we got here? Another note? Let me see the note. Oh, it's just a 100% on a... On a test or something. I don't know. Can I take... Oh. Just a one? Oh, okay. I was going to say, let me take both of them. Let me take both of those, please. We can feed the animals now. I can't do anything with those. I can think of at this point. Seems like sewing kits are placed strategically around the uh, area. Oh, what's that? 30... I don't know what that is. Is that, is that just film, like, film for me to use, or are those actual photos? Because if they're photos, I'd like to flip through them. I think I can open that. Yeah, I can. Okay, nothing in there. No cooked rabbits. What's through here? That looks like outdoors, probably. Yeah, it is. Kind of felt like an exterior door. Okay, so that's how we knew he was Catholic, but somehow they figured that. Uh... Good Paul VI, appearing papal. Hmm. His crooked fingers gave the impression he was about to bestow a miracle. Okay, so they assumed that we went inside here first, I'm guessing. Big mistake. Huge. Okay. Religion was very influential throughout Quebec many years ago. Indeed, it was surprising that Carl did not come across a single chapel since arriving here. Hmm. No loose ch <laughs> Okay. Oh, pff, that would help. Okay, sorry. The perfect cookie-cutter Catholic family, most likely attending church every Sunday. Is there a hallway light? Or no? Ah, oh, that's so much better. I want to start doing that. Who knew that giraffes thrived in the North Pole? The craze for toys was stupefying. You mean a house with kids in it and you're shocked that there's toys? That's... The family's mother must have spent her days washing the filth off her kids' diapers. He has sort of a negative way of looking at things, doesn't he? Alright. Would like to know what happened to everybody, though. There we go. Crayons. What is this? Oh my gosh. Surely this Jean-Luc Bedard could lead Carl to Hamilton, a.k.a. Uncle Willie. Okay, I have, I have a diary. August 16th, I have a diary just like Mom. Unlike her, though, I don't wear a long face when writing, but I do love to write in my mind and about Martin, most of all. I love talking about him. I think he loves me, too. Oh, man, this feels weird. Just like in Romeo and Juliet. You know how that ended? People don't like it when I see him. Only because he's uh, Blias. Uh, but just like in the story, nothing could stand in the way of true love. Except irony and death. August 18th. I lost appetite. I can't sleep anymore. Every waking hour, intense shivers run through my body. Dad's making me see Dr. Beaupre with his big hands touching me everywhere. His foul breath exhaling all over my face. Yuck. I'm not sick. I'm in love. I love Martin so much. Oh, there's nothing I like better than thinking about us playing together. Like we always do. I wonder if he found the key I lost the other day. He was pretty sad when I did. Because it was for his dad's garden shed. And Martin always has been afraid of him. I think Martin's dad is a bit like dad's god. The key fell in a burrow next to the shed. Okay. Poor Martin, he cried like a baby, but I still love him. I, I know the burrow they're talking about. Um, we got to figure out how to fish that out. Magnet? I'm thinking of magnet. Or something like that. Hmm. Something with a thread, probably. Sewing kit. Okay, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get it, we'll, we'll get it figured out. Don't you worry. Kids drawings. Man, for such a kid-like room, that was some pretty mature writing. What, what's this? No, oh, history. Okay. Architecture. Anything else up here? No. Etch a sketch. Classic. 
Are you there? No. There we go. Oh, I thought I was about to get hit by somebody with a hammer. I was like, oh no, someone's about to hit me in the back of the head with a hammer. But no, that was my own shadow I was reacting to. What's this? The Bedards had vacated the Ah, uh, it's Mommy's diary. Carl gathered they would be of no help. Jean Luc never had a knack for mathematics. Try as he might, he he'll never realize that he simply cannot be the father of the child I'm bearing. But how can I be sure? I have to keep this a secret, at least until the time is right, when it'll be safe. August 16th, Dr. Beaupre told me it would start showing soon that I couldn't keep it hidden forever. Gotta muster courage, uh, he said uh, with his usual condescending tone. Courage to the face is what's coming. Courage to face is what's coming. But he doesn't uh, get it all. For him... I just had some childish affair. He doesn't realize I've brought an external, I brought external damnation upon myself. September 14th, where he is very sick, and Jean Luc plunges to despair. I told him nothing about the evil growing inside of me. Sometimes I get the feeling he can see right through me. My Marie's suffering, and I'm the one to blame. Oh Lord Almighty, why do children have to have to pay for their parents' sins? Okay, that was pleasant. Alright. What, no comment there, narrator? Jeez. Figured it would be a comment afterwards. Uh, there's some change right there. What's this? Dream catchers originated from Amerindian legends. They were used to trap nightmares. Alright, I think we're... Oh, is there anything up in here? Nothing up in there. Another AM radio. Any keys hanging around anywhere? Keys, keys, no keys. Alright, well, let's head on outside here. See what we can do with this needle and thread. So far, this is much less like a survival game and more like a. Uh, I thought there was a needle and thread in here, wasn't there? Or, no, I'm tripping out. It was the last house, wasn't it? Um, it's, it's more of a mystery than a survival game at this point, but it's pretty cool. I love the atmosphere, so I'm going to keep playing it. I think Carl's the story's interesting. At the site of the nicely protected garden. Hopefully, the Bedards had managed to dig every last potato out before the sudden snowfall. Anything over here? What's this? Oh, it's some... Some water here, okay. Alright, let's just head on back. Doesn't look like there's much out here. Nope, okay, let's head on back. Got another house to check on down here. We'll run around this building once though, just to make sure we're not missing anything. Bet you we can look at this though. Hmm, nope, maybe not. Cinder blocks. Hmm. All right, let's get going here. Now I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can save in here, because I just got the heat symbol again. Worth a shot, right? Let's give it a go. Yeah, I cannot save in here. Okay. Can in the general store, so we're just going to stick with that. And I'll bust out the map here in a second, but I think I got one more. Maybe it's, I think it's on the, maybe on the left. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Let's check it real quick here. Yeah, it's, or no, it's on the right. Yeah. It's on the left of the map, on my right, though. 
I'd be interested to see if we can get in those uh, post office boxes because there is a package in one of them. Just wonder if we've got the key for it yet. We've got some strange keys, hopefully. There we go. Right at the edge of town. 1556. Small little place here. Kind of want to get my hammer out. Or my crowbar. What do you guys think? Hammer or crowbar? I'm thinking crowbar. Yeah. That crowbar would be wicked. Alright, add it to the pile. No, that one's just unlocked. No, I thought there was something with that seat. It just didn't look right, but... Carl felt right away he wouldn't find a soul in this house either. Think? Alright, where's the lights? Now that I'm actually going to be looking for lights. Oh, I thought somebody was coming in. I was about to whack him. There I go, scaring myself again. Alright, nothing there. Another AM radio. Say it. Oh, Just oh yeah. One more move and White is checkmated. Game over. It seems the game was abandoned right before the final strike came down. How many wood do we have now? Let me check real quick. We got five wood. That's pretty good. All right. Let me check on my uh, weight capacity here. I don't know. I don't know if that's even implemented yet. Oh, that's actually catching my cursor all the way out there. Wow. I'm not a huge fan of the user interface at this point. It needs to be refined just a little bit more. The Fantasy, page one. Matteo had yet to add murderer to his curriculum. He was fond of new experiences, especially the most thrilling ones, and, to ta and, the taking, and taking the life of a flesh and bone individual who... The night before was still able to think, dream, fantasize, calculate, read, held the promise of exhilarating sensations. Unlike, Jesus, what is with this game and <laughs> these names? Uh, Rascal, <laughs> the Rascal. It wasn't uh, about axing an old Jewish hag to pieces to test some lunatic theory, not at all. Matteo uh, just wanted to know how it all felt. It seemed so simple, horribly simple. He didn't have any particular victim in mind. Like most people, his desires ran quite, quite wildly, so he had only a vague idea of them in mind. He pondered using a rifle or a knife, assassinating a young girl or an old man. He tried to focus on uh, practicability. Uh, his victims would have to be defenseless. Bodybuilding wasn't exactly Mateo's strong suit. Uh, he would uh, have to act spontaneously. But not too much. He wasn't that eager to learn what spending the rest of the life in prison would be like. Some experiences carry t just too high a cost to be worth it, really. It kind of reminds me of uh, just something that's like a pet peeve of mine. Have you guys ever noticed how some people, when they're pronouncing specific like countries or, or things like that, they they over like they'll be speaking completely normal, like a normal accent, and then if they say a country, they suddenly develop the accent of that country. It's like um. For example, someone will be like, Yeah, so I went down to Mexico last week. I can't stand that. Why do you do that? Just say, I went down to Mexico last week. That's you know. Or, Pakistan. Pakistan. As someone that we probably all know likes to say it. It's like, dude. <laughs> you don't need to convince us. That you're important. We understand that. The job title, just it comes with the job. You might be incompetent, but you're still important. Simon de Beauvoir, All right. Claude Levi Strauss, Hannah Arendt, Roland Barthes. See what I mean? Carl was surprised by the literature filling this liberal leaning bookcase. 
Could there really it be just happened. Rituals dwelling in this far off land? Hmm. Doesn't sound like it. Sounds like a moron. The photograph was snapped not too far from here, Carl noticed. The couple seemed to be very good friends. The couple radiated something akin to lightheartedness, to freedom. Perhaps some people out there truly found a way to live happily ever after. Hmm. A picture of Wilfred in his youth. Carl Wilfred. figured right away that the man must have been some kind of wildlife officer. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. The couple radiated something akin to lightheartedness, to freedom. Perhaps some people out there truly found a way to live happily ever after. I can't hear anymore. Is that what they're trying to tell me? Hmm. Maybe it looked like I picked it up. It looked like something happened. Hmm. Oh, jeez! I thought I was going to get whacked yet again. It's like, oh no! Why are the lights going out? Oh my god! in this room. There it is. Alright. The fantasy... Oh, I can't stand reading this. But there might be a clue in it, so I have to... Oh, but I don't want to. The two lovebirds, especially since page four, I mean, we're skipping around here. The two lovebirds are still going at it seven months later, though. Confiding fears and desires alike near the fireplace several days a week, the populace, populace uh, took notice and wounding words eventually found their way to Mateo's ear prompting him to take action to prove his gentlemanship. He had asked Beatrice hand in marriage. He would have more than enough time to kill her later. Wow. Yeah, because it's never the husband that's the suspect. No, that you got it covered. It's, they're married. He couldn't have done it. He, he, he swore an oath. Hmm, till death do you part. No, but he, he loves her. He can you never do that? All right, today when Matteo stares at the motionless ceiling. Oh, better than the motionless wife. Just like he did 20 years ago, he still wonders what he uh, would be removing from existence by slitting Beatrice's throat. Jeez. What <laughs> he would be depriving his children of. My gosh. Uh, then, and as if soothed by his fantasy, he dr gently drifts off, smiling the night away. What a crazy psychopath. So, you want to just kill somebody to see what it feels like, and you're going to kill somebody that's absolutely, completely innocent. Go, like, dude. Go find somebody that slipped through the crack. Do pull a Dexter, you know, if you're gonna do it, pull a Dexter. That had to be a bad sign, Carl surmised. What's this? Ooh, is that ammo? That looks like ammo. I can't carry it, can I? What is that? What is that? Is that ammo? I don't wanna pass up on ammo. Hmm. I think I'm carrying too many logs. Okay. We might have to come back here if we need ammo. A single rifle left. Yes, that I got you. A bad sign, Carl surmised. Yeah, it sounds like a government gun grab is what it sounds like to me. Another fantasy, yeah, page, yeah, so we're going back. The first time he met Beatrice, however, she unexpectedly revealed to her, her troubled origins to Matteo. She was adopted at the age of four, and recalling her former life still gave her a hard time. She played the piano in so great, graceful a manner that people often thought she may be the natural offspring of a musical virtue. Oh, so... She always cried before falling asleep, torn from the inside by a dreadful pain. Better be torn from the outside by a knife from your husband. Dreadful pain she couldn't explain. She confided to him so profoundly that Matteo couldn't get uh, enough uh, coming back every night to learn every single thing of what would come out of that de delicate mouth after pulling one last breath out of it. Every night he reflected on what the death of Beatrice would mean in terms of losses to humanity's common heritage be it the sound of her sobbing or the, her piano melodies, the compulsive tapping of her long index fingers on her temple when she harbored dark thoughts. You're one that's kettle black there, buddy. Or any other little thing. It doesn't matter. Everything would be indiscriminately, or indiscriminately vanished. Everything. All these thoughts made for some blissful slumbers indeed. Then days became weeks, and before he knew it, it was Mateo's turn to throw his secrets at her. His hopes, his cries of despair, as if throwing coins in a wishing well. 
quote, she'll be dead by the end of the month, unquote. She'll be, there he promised himself, okay. What a creeper. Hmm. Worn out fabric. Okay. Well. Can we do anything with these flowers? No. Okay. What's that, what's that down there in a... Oh, just a graphical glitch it looks like. That's a big box of cereal. They don't make them that big anymore. They make them the same height and everything, so they display on the shelf. They appear at first glance the same way, but if you look at them from the side, they're now like a third of what they used to be when I was a kid. In 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 uh, in depth. Freaking, I can't stand that. Oh, and the uh, whole uh, taking a 20 ounce soda and turning it into like uh, whatever it is now. Take, taking a few ounces out of it. Got to give credit to my buddy Nathan on that one, Grifter. He was the first one I noticed. He's like, these 20 ounce sodas aren't 20 ounces anymore. I'm holding it. I'm like, something's wrong with this. <laughs> it just doesn't feel right. Either I, I have gotten bigger at age 38, or uh, <laughs> my hand's grown. My overall height and weight has grown, but uh, has increased. But uh, or, or this bottle has gotten smaller. Well, shocker, the bottle has gotten smaller. Okay, have we been? Yeah, we've been everywhere, right? Let me double check. Yep, okay. Let's head on back. Whoa. Back on the road there, buddy. Back on the road. Oh, when I replayed this game just for giggles, when I uh, was coming up here from the uh, from the watchtower where you start at, you know how that car like comes the other way, it's flying, and it runs off the road and all that? I tried to intentionally hit it. It wouldn't let me do it, so I tried. They, like put an invisible wall between me and the car. All right, so we're back at the. Uh, the I want to see if they, we get this post office box open. If not, no big deal. We'll just go ahead and uh, are the wolves back. Nope, they're not back. Oh. Oh, oh, I got a gas can. But I probably can't fill it with fuel because that's probably extra weight, huh? Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. Where's the gas can? There's... There we go. Did it let me? Let's see what happened. Mmm, equip. Mmm, that's not the right thing. Back. Usable. Beer bottle. Special. Mm, uh, where the heck is the gas can? Well, where is it? Can't be under here. Wow, they have everything, don't they? Okay, that's good to know. We can always go back. Reread, reread something if we need to. Okay, so that's not there. Where in the world is it? It's gotta be here. It just ghosted on me. I don't know what happened to our gas can. Alright, so let's head on back here, see if we can get into one of these storage units here. Hopefully. Big bucks. No, it's not going to let me. Hmm. Oh, it was worth a shot. Right? Nail screws, bolts, and such. So I'm picking up nails and everything, but there's a whole ton of them right there. I could just throw those in the back of my pickup truck right now. Alright. Probably end up dropping some wood here. Try to figure that out in the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that tip jar on the main channel page. Or head on over to patreon.com forward slash accurate too if you'd like to be listed as a producer. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I think it'll, what it will be. Episode number five? Kona, thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care out there.